got to get your thoughts now on Deflategate. Do you feel like this ruling vindicates Tom Brady? You know, let me just say that overall it's a big mess. The last Good nine point. months has just been kind of misinformation put, put out there. This is what happened. You know, cell phone was destroyed. Not all the all perfect information was not given to us. So based off of what I know, um, it's disappointing, I guess, all the way around to see, you know, ruling held down from, handed down from Roger Goodell uh, from four-game suspension to say Tom was involved in this. They've asked him for the proper information to hand over. He didn't do it, so he got a four-game suspension. Now he beats that, shows that, to me, he's above the law to some degree. Mm. And, you know, uh, just outside looking in, I mean, if you did it, you did it. And given the culture of the Patriots and what they've done in the past in terms of pushing the envelope on getting a, getting a competitive edge, I, I'm, I'm tend to believe that they, he, he is in the wrong because the quarterback handles the ball more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. He makes sure that they're the way that he likes them. And to say that he didn't have any involvement in it, I find it very hard to believe uh, that, that – um, these, these ball boys did it on their own. Okay, so you believe that Brady got away with something. I do, yeah. I yeah. mean, this doesn't make, he, let me be clear. Yeah. Tom is a great player, greatest of all time, no doubt about it. Um, I, I like Tom, but in this situation, I think he got away with, with murder in the situation. I mean, he got in, in the clear. Yeah. And he fought hard for it and so forth. Because my thing is, if you didn't do it, hand over the proper information that, that they asked for, if that's what they asked for. This is what we know in the public to be true.